Hello guys, I am Dr. Vijay Gupta and as we have discussed that the concepts in the physiology is important, keeping that in mind, now let us understand a concept and MCQs on that. What we are going to learn is conducting system of the heart. What are we going to learn in conducting system of the heart? We are going to learn the pacemaker potential. Now, before going on to the pacemaker potential, let me ask you one question. The first event to occur in, the first event to occur in the prepotential of as a node is, and the options are sodium funny current, calcium current through calcium T channels, calcium current through calcium L channels, or decline in potassium current. Let me repeat, which is the first event to occur in the prepotential of the assay node? Sodium funny current, entry of calcium ion to calcium T channels, entry of calcium ion to calcium L channels, and decline in potassium current. I, I hope most of you have answered that is sodium funny current. No, the first event to occur in prepotential of assay node is decline in potassium current. Decline in potassium current is the first event to occur. That's what I want to say. Don't go for an MCQ, go for a concept. Let us understand what are the events in the pacemaker potential of SA node or pacemaker potential. I am drawing here the pacemaker potential of SA node. The pacemaker potential of SA node comprises of four events. The pacemaker potential of SA node comprises of four events. I have drawn here two action potentials. The events are first event. The first event is decline in potassium current. And why? See, the repolarization occurs because of potassium ion. The repolarization occurs because of potassium ion. At the end of repolarization, the potassium channels close. At the end of repolarization, the potassium channels close and the potassium accumulates inside the cell. This raises the potential to a slightly positive level. That's why potassium ion or declining potassium current is the first event to occur. This thing is given in very few books like Ganon. So, please I don't understand. First event is potassium current and not sodium funny current. That is the old thing now. So, declining potassium current is the first thing to occur in pacemaker potential or you can say pre potential. The second event, the second event to occur is yes, your sodium funny current is your sodium funny current. The sodium funny current, why? Why funny current? The sodium funny current is because sodium channels, they do not open before depolarization. The sodium channels open during depolarization. Here, the sodium channels are opening before depolarization and hence it is called as sodium funny current. And what is the name of the channel? This is also an MCQ. The name of the sodium channel which open during Prepotential or action potential of the X SA node are voltage gated sodium channel, voltage gated put sodium ligand gated channel, or HCN gated sodium channel, or channels of the P cells of sodium ions. The answer is HCN gated sodium channels. HCN, what is HCN? Hyperpolarization cyclic nucleotide gated sodium channel. So the channels open, the channels open after potassium current. So, it is not a first event, it is a second event. Please try to may understand the sodium funny event is a second event. Once sodium channels open, sodium enters inside the cell, sodium enters inside the cell and makes the membrane more positive. It raises the potential further towards lesser negative, you can say more positive area. After sodium funny current, the third event, the third event to occur is calcium current. Calcium ions they enter through calcium T channels. Please, I don't understand. This is calcium T channel means it is a transient channel. Please understand calcium ion enter through calcium T channels which is a calcium transient channels. They open for a very small period of time but they raise the potential to the threshold. This also falls in queue. Which, which ion or which channel raises the prepotential threshold and again they will give the same option potassium, sodium, calcium T, calcium L, the answer becomes it is calcium T which raises the potential to the threshold. Now, 
once the calcium T channel is open, calcium ion enters for a very small period of time. There is a potential to the threshold. Once threshold is reached, once threshold is reached, the prepotential is done. This is the prepotential part. After threshold, the calcium L channels open. The calcium L channels open and the L stands for long lasting channels. They open for a very longer period of time. Calcium enters, the influx of calcium ion occurs, and the potential of the membrane goes to the spike, or you can say it depolarizes completely because of calcium ions. Calcium ion causes depolarization in SA node. This is a very important thing because if calcium ion causes depolarization, the peak, the, the peak is smooth, and if sodium ion causes depolarization, the peak is sharp. So, this is the thing we are supposed to remember. Sodium ion causes sharp peak, calcium ion causes smooth peak. So, I will repeat again. There are four events in the pacemaker potential. Decline in potassium current, opening of sodium channels, opening of calcium T channels and opening of calcium L channels. So, the first event is potassium decline and the last event is in the prepotential is calcium T channel. If I ask you, which is the first event to occur after threshold? Which is the first event to occur after threshold? And the options are calcium T channels, calcium L channels, sodium funny current or potassium decline. The answer is in front of you. After threshold, the first event to occur is calcium L channels. Now, this is what is the event for depolarization. Prepotential and depolarization. Next question. Why SA node is pacemaker of the heart? Everybody will say because it has got faster stage of depolarization or faster stage of repolarization or it has got a very high rate of impulse discharge or it is just a pacemaker. Most of you think that yes, it has got a faster stage of impulse discharge. No, that's the whole thing. The SA node is pacemaker of the heart because it has a fastest rate of repolarization. The cell which repolarizes in cardiac physiology, jo sabse pehle recover karega, wohi race jitega. The one who recovers fast is the pacemaker because first to recover is the first to depolarize. So, pacemaker recovers very fast and it depolarizes very fast as compared to any other, any other cell in the heart. Hence, SA node becomes pacemaker potential or SA node is a pacemaker of the heart. So, the fastest rate of repolarization, please understand, fastest rate of repolarization is the reason why SA node is a pacemaker potential of the heart. If I extrapolate, if I extrapolate pacemaker potential of SA node and AV node, look at the reason, look at the potential, action potential. Let me choose another color. Yeah. So, if I draw, if I draw a pacemaker potential of AV node, it will go like this. Now, this is for SA node, this is for AV node. If I draw a pacemaker potential, not of AV node, I will draw the action potential of Purkinje fibers. Look at the repolarization. I will change the color again. See, SA node number 1, AV node number 2 and the Purkinje fibers number 3. See the repolarization. The repolarization is the plateau phase. It is the lowest rate of repolarization. It is so slow that the two, phase, the two action potential of SA node occurs in the event of one event of Purkinje fibers. Now, one more thing. Many questions are based on the slope. Slope of reponential. Is slope of reponential hai kya cheez? Very simple. The slope of prepotential is the spike or is the height by which the potential moves towards depolarization, towards threshold. There are two things: uh, increasing slope and decreasing slope. Let's go for an MCQ first. The stimulation of vagus nerve. The stimulation of vagus nerve causes increasing the slope, decreasing the slope no change in the slope or depends upon the neurotransmitter. What will be the answer? Before going for an MCQ, if you have ratified this MCQ, no use because 
increase and decrease words are so confusing you tend to forget them understand the concept the as a node as a node the first event is potassium decline in potassium current once you stimulate a vagus nerve once you stimulate a vagus nerve the potassium channels the potassium channels they remain open now if the graph goes like this if the graph goes like this if the graph goes in this manner it is a increase in this slope and if the graph goes like this this is decrease in this slope this is increase this is decrease decrease in this slope means this action potential is not going to occur very soon this is an inhibition as in as a node gets inhibited when you stimulate vagus now how when you stimulate vagus now when you stimulate vagus now the vagus now it it keeps the potassium channel open it doesn't close why via m2 muscarinic receptors m2 muscarinic receptors they keep the potassium channel open the potassium keeps on going out and this slope decreases and this slope decreases this is the simple answer if you could understand this thing answer in front of you stimulation of vagus nerve increases the potassium current not decline increases the potassium current and decreases the slope of curve got it there are three things here stimulation of vagus nerve increases the potassium current and decreases the slope of the curve why by a m2 receptors now we stimulate a sympathetic nerve a sympathetic nerve stimulation causes earlier close early close of potassium channel potassium channel close early and the slope of the graph increases rapidly so increasing the slope is because of sympathetic stimulation decreasing the slope is because of parasympathetic stimulation see so understanding one concept has give the ability to solve at least 5 to 6 mcqs within this small time this is what i am talking about don't learn for mcqs learn for the concept thank you